I can always tell if a burger is going to be good when I want to just eat the batter straight as is. Mm -hmm. It's a good one. It's a good one, Ricky. Well done. Can't wait to taste them when they're baked. Heather from HealthyEatingStartsHere.com. So today I have a special treat for you. I have a recipe from the fantastic Ricky Heller's website. She runs a site called DietDessertAndDogs.com and what she does over there is a whole variety of really, really delicious recipes that are good for people who are dealing with candida. So that's really awesome for anyone out there who's looking to reduce sugar intake and reduce certain allergens and stuff like that. Her site is fantastic. If you are trying to do an anti-candida vegan diet, go check it out because she has some amazing stuff that will make you feel not at all deprived. Today what we're going to make is a recipe she has for breakfast sausage patties, which sounded really, really awesome and really easy. So um, let us get started. So what we're going to do today is make her breakfast sausage patty recipe, which sounds phenomenal. It starts with some toasted walnuts and some cooked brown rice that I have left over from uh, dinner last night. So it's a great thing to make for breakfast, or you can make it for lunch or dinner or whatever you like, but it's great because you can use the leftover rice that you've cooked for a previous meal and then just add some really amazing spices or not spices, well, yeah, there's some smoked paprika in there and some sage and get a really nice flavor developed. So I've got my walnuts just toasting in a pan over medium high heat and you just want to keep an eye on those because they will burn fairly quickly but while they cook I'm going to get chopping up an onion and some garlic. The start of all good things is onions and garlic, right? Just make sure you shake these around every so often to make sure they don't burn. The cool thing about dry toasting nuts like this or seeds in a pan is that you can see the oil start to come out and uh, that's where the flavor comes from. So it's really, really nice to do this. And while I'm over here, I should start the oven. 2375. All right, so the walnuts are done and I've got them in the food processor ready for the next step. While I do that, I'm gonna let the onions and garlic cook. I just got them in a little bit of oil and we're looking for them to soften. A cup and a half of cooked brown rice, a tablespoon of ground flax, quarter cup of vegetable broth or water, a couple of tablespoons of fresh parsley. Ricky calls for fresh sage and I don't have any so I'm using dried and this is even ground so I was very careful with the measurement on this one. I can always add more but I cannot take it out. I'm not scared of the paprika though, that stuff is good. If you have not tried smoked paprika before, try it, trust me. So good. And I'm gonna throw a pinch of salt in just to bring the flavors together. You don't need much. And the onions and garlic are done now, so I'm gonna throw those in the food processor as well. And just blend everything up until it's fairly smooth and a little bit chunky, I think she says. So I've got it all blended up. It's looking really nice and smooth and sticky and whatnot. I like to give it a taste right now because I can always play with the seasonings if I need to, but um, once I get it formed into patties and baked, then you can't really do anything about it. Mm. That's really, really good. And the cool thing is, I didn't want to say it before, but I don't even really like sage, but this tastes really, really good. So what I'm going to do is form these into patties. I'm just going to use my hands. It helps if your hands are a little bit wet and then they won't stick as much. I've got a greased cookie sheet. I don't have any parchment paper at the moment, so I've just spread some olive oil on there so you, you can see my reflection in the cookie sheet. Anyway, um, just get some uh, some of your burger batter, patty batter, and uh, form it into a ball. And then she says to bake it best, you want to make sure it's about half an inch thick. But look how nicely they stick together. These are fantastic. I should also mention, Ricky's recipe on her site also includes an almond gravy for these patties which I think sounded phenomenal, but I just didn't um, have all the ingredients to make it today. But you should definitely go check her site out for that. 
I'll post a link with this recipe over to her site and the, uh, the original recipe so you can get that gravy. And Ricky, her site is called Diet Dessert and Dogs, so she does a lot of dessert recipes, but they're all good for um, people with candida, which means they can't have sugar. So if you're interested in low glycemic desserts, she is definitely the gal to check out. And I believe she's gonna be changing her website soon to rickyheller.com, so if you're watching this in the future, then head over there. I'll change the link when she updates her site. Okay, so pasta's in the oven at 375, and she says they take 35 to 45 minutes, so I'm gonna set the timer for 35. Start. And check back and see how they're doing. All right, there are my patties out of the oven. They come nice and clean off the tray. They look gorgeous. I'm just gonna take a bite, cause I can. Mmm, so good. And the texture is so amazing with the rice mixed with the walnuts. Oh, really, really good. Ricky, so good. Okay, so you have to go check out Ricky's site. I will post a link to this recipe, including the almond gravy. That sounds phenomenal. And I'm definitely gonna try next time I make these cause I'm gonna make them many, many times. So easy and so tasty. So that's it for me today. I hope you guys enjoy this. I certainly am going to. And um, if you want to get more recipes and nutrition videos on a weekly basis, I post them every single week. You can subscribe to my email through my website or on YouTube or follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Pinterest. And I hope to just connect with you somehow. So thanks, and I'll see you again sometime soon.